All right, so in this problem, we are given the n expression, and we want to know what the value of this expression will be. So we have two variables, p and q, and we are given here an expression for q. And in this expression, we have this value p, which we are given, which is 10. So if we plug in the value for p, we'll be able to find the value of q. So we have q equals 4 times p, which is 10, divided by 5. So we have 4 times 10, which is 40, divided by 5, which gives us 8. So the value of q is going to be 8, and the value of p is 10. So now let's plug it into our expression. We have 2 times p, which is 10, minus 7, divided by 3 times q, which is 8, plus 2. All right, so that's one of our fractions. And our second fraction is 3 times q, which is 8, plus 2, all this divided by 2 times p, which is 10, minus 7. All right, so now let's go ahead and simplify. In our first fraction, our numerator is going to be 2 times 10, which is 20, minus 7, which is 13. And in our denominator, we have 3 times 8, which is 24, plus 2, which gives us 26. All right, now in our second fraction, our numerator is going to be 3 times 8, which is 24, plus 2, which gives us 26, divided by 2 times 10, which is 20, minus 7, which gives us 13. All right, now let's simplify both of these fractions. 13 divided by 26 gives us half, because we can divide the top and bottom by 13, and half of 20, and half of 26 gives us 13, so it simplifies to 2. All right, so we're going to add this half to 26 divided by 13, which gives us a whole number 2, because 13 goes into 26 two times. All right, so now when we simplify this, we have half plus 2, which gives us 2 and a half, or in decimal form, 2.5. So 2.5 is going to be the value of the expression given, which is answer B.